Hey guys, Grinch here, and today we're playing Conan Exiles, so today's video is going to be focused on gameplay only, the core mechanics of the game, crafting, uh, combat, and I'm going to kind of uh, give you guys a 10 minutes impression of the game. Um, I just want to see what it feels like, what's different. I've been playing on the PC for a while now, and I just kind of want to walk through some things with you guys. One thing I do want to show you is the light and heavy attacks are are much different than they were before so if you press R1 on the PlayStation this is the light attack combo that you get if you press L2 this is the heavy attack combo that you get okay and if you mix them together you actually get a different sequence of attacks which is also cool and then if you press your L2 button you get your kick which is really cool as well now if you guys haven't if you guys haven't played as long as I have they've actually added climb system as well they didn't have that before so that's also pretty cool another thing I wanted to show you guys is if you run out of stamina completely you won't be able to attack until you've been still enough to regain that again so look I'm in battle stance I am actually hitting L1 and R2 and it's just now letting me attack after that regains uh, after your stamina regains so we're going to go ahead and see how the crafting system works so we're going to move over to our inventory, and I think we should have enough to make at least the shoes. There we go. So we got... And there should be a water skin somewhere in here, if I remember correctly. Maybe I went too far, or maybe... Yeah, it's over here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we'll see if anything's changed as far as the gargoyle goes. Bandits and cannibals. Exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them try to scrape the light. Try to get a little bit closer to land. That way we can start crafting and maybe find something that we can fight and uh, see the combat in action. So... Past the ghost fence. And this curse of land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Do not know how cursed you truly are. Let's see where this guy's body is. God's cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingle with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches okay. from the loose stones. So we've got enough fiber to place. possibly make our we other two pieces. That like yes, fire. there we go. Or the bite okay, of the axe. so the next thing is to find enough branches or we can craft a pig. We're probably going to have to get a little closer to town first. Where are these buzzards? Oh, okay. They're way up there. They look a lot bigger in the shadow. We're going to let our stamina build up just a little bit before we proceed too far in because there's probably some NPCs very close by. Let's see. I hear one. There he is. Let's go ahead and take him down. Come on. Build back up just a little bit. There we go. Start out with the head attack. Oh, there he is. Let's see what the kick looks like. Well, that was, that was pretty easy. So, I'm going to try to sneak closer to the river if I can. Because these turtle guys... What's after me? Okay. It's just one of the humpback of no Notre Dame guys, whatever you call it. So, one thing I also want to show you guys is there is... So, if you get caught in like a combo, because there is combos now, you can actually roll out of them. These guys are pretty easy to take down, even, even at the starter level. So, let's go ahead and get some branches...
We're definitely gonna need to put some points in stamina though, because that will too easy to run out of, and we don't even have heavy armor on yet, so. Okay. Let's make that pickaxe. And how do you use it? Oh, okay, so it's L1. And it's kind of a wheel. That's pretty cool. On the, on the PC, it's a hotbar, like 1 through 8, I believe. So let's go... Let's go see what we can find. Oh, there's some NPCs over there, I think. You know what? Let's go down this way, just to make sure there's nothing on the other side of them. Just in case we can use the... Uh, Water is a getaway path. What's that? Oh, it's just rocks. There's a grub. Let's see. Well, lead us. It's not gonna let. Okay. Let's go attack these guys now. Just, just for the sake of the video, I want to see. Whoa, look. I think that crocodile. Oh, and this, one. this one's coming after me. He's not going to help his buddies out. I will mine you to death, sir. You are out of commission, sir. Oh, no. How close to dead is he? Bad idea. I want to regain your stamina. Lunge at me, man. Try to dodge. Yeah, he's not even close to dead, so we're not gonna mess with him right now. Let's uh, get away. Can you climb away from me? Can he get me here? Oh, I am gonna run out of stamina though. Can I make it to the top? There we go. Uh, he's not going anywhere though. Can I climb to the top? Okay, so there is still some ways you can kind of... I don't guess it's necessarily cheating. Because it's a mechanic in the game. Is he gonna come after me now? No, I don't think so. Okay. For the game. Let's go ahead and take that. Cool. Alright, let's see what we can do to start kind of... I just want to try to build a few little things in this video and then I think that'll probably be a good stopping point for this first video. So when you're starting out, I suggest putting points in vitality, encumbrance, and survival. Kind of want to space out, space them out just a little bit. There we go, that's probably good for now. And then as far as your inventory, uh, let's see, where's, there's the feeds, okay. get a point in construction and then we're gonna build let's see we need our handy dandy pick out so we can get a little bit of stone okay all right can we make a foundation let's see so we need some wood I still think it's hilarious that the trees just kind of explode once you get done with them. I remember earlier in the production of the game, kind of like fly off the map, which was pretty funny. They've come a long way. I know that they've talked about adding sorcery later, so I'm really excited to see what this game can turn into. And honestly, 
I don't think I have a good enough good enough grasp to say whether it's worth fifty dollars or not in this video. If that's something you guys would like me to do in a further video, if, is it worth it kind of a th video? I'll definitely do that. So I believe uh, I'll try that again. I believe it was L1 is what I actually placed the piece. Okay. Yes, I was right. Okay. So that is not a very straight house, but that's okay. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the basics of the game, how it looks, how it plays, how it feels. It feels great. Honestly, the learning all the different controls and commands will probably take a little bit getting used to, but it did on the computer as well. Um, if you guys would like to see more of this, please let me know. Until next time, I'm Grinch, and I'll be under my bridge. I would love to hear what you guys think about this game. If there's something in particular you want me to cover, I will probably be doing a full playthrough as far as like PvE goes. Um, but as far as a 10 minute impression goes, I think it looks absolutely great. It feels great, and I it's it's everything I wanted from beta so um, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next video